Hello, good morning, good, uh, good afternoon, uh, everyone, and welcome to the session A Smart City is a Data Driven City. Uh, I'm Sylvie Le Guyader, and I'm pleased to be uh, uh, doing this presentation with uh, uh, Albert Subers, which is the strategic director of our Smart City business, and Cyril Sauvignac, which is our product manager. Uh, and um, so today we will uh, present you the Urban Data Platform, which is a platform where artificial and artificial uh, need, meets uh, human uh, intelligence transforming data into value. And we will make you a short demo at the end of this presentation. So now I would like to give the floor to Albert Sebus for presenting you the concept of the data platform. Thank you, Sylvie. Um, when we talk about urban data, urban data platforms, first we need to take a very close look at what it means. I mean, data is a very valuable asset for cities um, because if we want to change our society and, and help people understand the impact on how we live together in cities and how we can optimize our lives in cities and what the impact of social engagement in the cities could be, we need to build information based on the real-time or right-time data to provide to people that uh, need access to the data. This means we first need to build an environment of trust. So devices that generate data that we're going to use need to be managed and trusted. So the connection, the device, but also the impact of uh, potential um, risks like cyber risks are very important. On the left-hand side of this picture, you see elements that come together. Privacy is the second one that's very, very important. We only analyze data in the core that we need to take into the core. So there's a lot of discussions on privacy in cities and how it's engaging the lives of, of people in the city. So if we need to analyze, say, for instance, video, we will run that in the edge and only the output is something we will use uh, you can say it in a simple way, there's no use of recording 24 hours of empty streets. Only when we need the data, we'll take it, um, bring it into the platform. On the right-hand side, you see there's, there's topics of interest and importance here as well. Who will be able to access the data? Uh, do we know the user? If not, uh, so there's user access, but if we don't know the users, like the smartphone application accessing the data, we need to understand for what reason the data is accessed and what can be done with the, uh, the data. So it's, it's, it's a read-only uh, platform or it's published as open data. And here is where the data lakes that we use are very, very important. Uh, as a small example, you can understand if a car is parked on a parking lot for 30 minutes, that could be seen as open data. Well, when the, li the license plate of the car is embedded in the record, it is your personal data and it's not necessarily being published as open data. And if we extend that with the potential payment for parking the car there for 30 minutes, it's even more personal. So this, this brings in the need for a data lake as a service model. If, if there's an increase in use cases, reusing the same data, but in a different format or for a different case, we need to reassess the availability of the data. The core piece of all that is our urban data platform. But the embedded and, and um, surrounded services are added value services Atos can bring to you to create an, a, a serious and trusted urban data platform environment. If we then see why we think we are capable and scalable for you to support you, we have been the trusted provider of IT services for the Olympic Games. This is a number of days, a number of weeks that we present this, and we can prepare a long time for it. A city, we see this as an event that never ends. So we cannot be uh, uh, prepared for the one risk. We have to be prepared, be prepared on a constant level to support this and, and maintain that trusted environment for urban data. So data, and we've seen this discussion uh, over the past few years where a lot of cities try to focus on what we call verticals. Is it parking? Is it environment? Is it the connected citizen? Is it mobility? 
these are verticals that need to be combined in a single urban data platform to be a create and enhance the value of the data you capture. Because in the end, it's the connecting the dots. It's connecting the citizen that is in need of transportation information, mobility information. It's the need of information of mobility impacting the environment. Uh, uh, again, a simple uh, request. We've tried to promote, the cities a lot, try to promote a more healthy lifestyles. But if we bring people out into the city driving a bike in the park, whether the air quality is poor, we should reconsider this. So we need sustainable information, sustainability information. We need mobility information, availability of the bike, if that's not your own. And we need a citizen's profile on this. And the same applies for, for, for mobility, mobility services. Inclusiveness in a smart city is not just digital inclusiveness. It's another type of inclusiveness that's as important. It's the ability to drive autonomously, to use uh, autonomously mobility services in the city, even if you're in a wheelchair. Just call out, mind the gap. For a lot of people, it means you cannot leave this, the, the subway at this station. So connecting the dots using a single platform is an important part of maintaining an urban data platform. Then smart is about connecting the dots. It's reusing the data and making sure there's multiple value uh, creation lines on, on this. But it's not just the city. Smart applies to a series of cities, a territory or a region, or maybe parts of the city, a neighborhood, a park, an airport, but could be focused on transportation as well, but then with the impact of transportation on the city or on the region you're in, but it also applies to airports or seaports. So smart, we call it now a smart X use of our urban data platform. Um, with this, I would like to hand over back to Sylvie, who can tell you a bit more about the architecture of the platform. Th thank you, Albert. Now, let, let's uh, just uh, show you uh, what is our global architecture. It's been built on a real-time architecture. It's uh, on an hybrid cloud. Uh, it's hybrid cloud-based, and it has all the components to uh, ingest the data from the different sensors that you can have in a region, in a uh, in the region, in the in the cities, or whatever, to collect all those data and to be able through a standardized data hub to combine all those data in order to create dashboards. So dashboards, which will be for uh, people from the elective representatives, what about the territory, is a department, a lab, um, a land, uh, a, a city, but also dashboards for citizens and enterprises, because, I mean, uh, citizens and enterprises will be part of the ecosystem of this data platform in order to take the right decisions and work with the municipalities or the regions in order to develop the, the regions. So basically, this we have an IoT platform, which is horizontal, interoperable, and which is bas based also on open sources and open standards, which means that this is really important for, uh, for <clears throat> our uh, our business because it can work everywhere and you are not connected to, to, to anything and uh, it can work from different countries and different environments. So the, the, the characteristic of this, uh, of this platform is horizontal interoperability designed for smart city and designed for IoT where we have also integrated a lot of standards for the device management. So, I mean, uh, our uh, urban data platform is based on uh, high level standards. So what is important here to note is that it is based on, on, on fewer and fewer. I mean, we are uh, as Atos part of the executive uh, board uh, of fewer and executive steering committee. And we are, you know, it's uh, uh, open source uh, uh, components, which uh, can help us to facilitate integration of APIs and uh, processing of uh, data IoT in a, in a special uh, contextualized data. We also have a standard on interoperability for IoT platform, which uh, allows us to make all the capture of data and data sensors that, that, that uh, are installed within uh, an area. 
and uh, also a device management to secure uh, with the high level security. Last but not least, we have also integrated into our platform a communication standard for intelligent transport system, which allow us to develop any kind of new use cases on uh, on mobility. And now I would like to hand over to Cyril Sauvignac for the, uh, the, the, the demo part. Hello, everybody. Um, so yes, uh, I'm going to show you a short presentation. So you can see here in this picture the common technical blocks. So you can see our offer runs uh, analytics with codec for territories. But uh, as we ingest a lot of IoT, we have also uh, uh, edge computing uh, devices and uh, our soft solution uh, named uh, Codex Smart Edge. And you can see uh, the global platform, Codex Data Platform, that will allow to ingest uh, all kinds of data uh, from the ecosystem. So it can be supervisor, it can be um, open data and connected objects. And uh, to visualize, of course, we have other tools like uh, digit digital twins and uh, incident management system. And um, also you can have open data to export your data for the global ecosystem and also API management in order to exchange and enrich data. So below you can see all our other offers. So this offer also connect to this backbone and this global platform in order to produce data, but also uh, consume data in order to en enrich their own use cases. So you can see mobility, uh, earth observation, for example, smart energy, equipment, and citizen safety. So let me share my screen. Hope it's working. So, okay, so I hope you see my screen. So basically this platform is divided in several blocks. So of course we have all blocks to ingest uh, all kinds of sources with, uh, we call it uh, IoT services, but uh, we can just open data, etc. And and uh, after we ingest all this data, of course, we have uh, verticals we can uh, build uh, on this platform. Uh, and so, of course, it depends on the on the vertical you want to address or your own use cases. And of course, you have some kind of monitoring. Uh, so if I focus, for example, on device management, uh, we can ingest and classify uh, all kind of devices. Uh, for example, let me show. So here we have some kind of um, uh, edge device uh, for temperature, I think. So we define some uh, some uh, input protocols. So okay, it can be, I don't know, Obgenius, etc., LoRa, Sigfox. Uh, so we can ingest uh, the connected object with, uh, I would say, uh, a lot of different ways. Um, if I go uh, deeper, uh, let me show. For example, here we have all kind of data plug we can use. For example, uh, it can be air quality. Uh, and we can see uh, after we enroll this object in real time, the air quality. Uh, we can see, for example, some open data. It can be vehicles, for example. So it's very easy to integrate open data and uh, to see in real time uh, this information in the platform. And after we we had ingested all this data, we contextualize, contextualize this data in order to have the uh, same semantic, the same language to exchange data. So it allows to animate a global ecosystem. Of course, with this kind of tools, we have some kind of rules management. So some example, for example, on a crisis scenario, on flood, uh, we we see what uh, comes from the open data, but also from the sensor. And if there are some problem, we can uh, generate uh, directly an incident and uh, rely on incident management tools, of course. So for example, here we can see uh, some incident. Uh, so here, basically, it's more uh, a problem on air quality. It's linked to our ITS platform, Intelligent Transportation System, to reduce, uh, I would say, speed for vehicles. 
So let me show some uh, verticals, for example, around the uh, tracking um, and vehicles. So in this platform, we ingest a lot of data from private fleet, public fleet, but also connected objects. So let me show you in Bordeaux, for example, we ingest uh, data from bot in Bordeaux, but also we can have uh, buses, uh, we can add uh, road information from uh, our uh, ecological ministry with work, etc., accident, of course. And we have some history of, uh, of all uh, trip from uh, a vehicle. And of course, we can also add uh, a plane. So it's a connected object based on an antenna that is uh, based in our lab. So this is very powerful because the goal is to contextualize data and uh, whatever sources you have, you can show uh, this in the platform. And so, for example, it's used uh, on mobility to, to for enterprises to address mobility law and to change um, people's mind uh, in order to change their habits and, to, of course, to reduce carbon footprint. So, yes, we can have also a train, etc. Uh, if I focus on another use case, it's around uh, air quality. So you can see air quality with all sensors. So of course we have, uh, um, I would say, um, open data sensor, but also you can have a partner sensor. So we gather all this information to have a global uh, vision of uh, air quality uh, in Europe. So this is another example where we mix uh, um, private uh, information uh, information with public information. So we use this, for example, to to define uh, some kind of strategy for the city, and of course, it's linked uh, uh, with uh, mobility and road information system, and uh, to speed uh, and uh, congestion in the city. Another example is around the uh, street light panels. For for example, we manage a lot of uh, street light panels, so uh, it's solar street light panels. So we have a lot uh, in Africa, and so we can see in real time uh, this street light panel. And of course, we have dynamic dashboarding. So as an example, it's our innovation lab uh, in Atos uh, in Bordeaux, and you can see in real time, for example, this uh, uh, st uh, street light panel and see this co is consumption. You can raise some incident if there is a problem. Uh, you have also other sensor, of course, in our lab, like uh, weather uh, information with temperature, etc. And you have also with some kind of image recognition, uh, the people uh, that come in our um, Atos site. So yes, this is the kind of example this platform can address. Uh, but of course, uh, we have a lot of other offer plug to this platform and uh, all these offer enrich each other in order to propose new use cases and added value services for citizens or, or for the city. And uh, you can also have uh, some kind of uh, uh, agent in the city to, uh, to address uh, uh, incidents. So I think I finished. It was short because uh, the time was short. Um, perhaps uh, any question? Thank you, Cyril, for the the live demo and uh, it was very useful to understand um, to understand the, this platform uh, and what are the use cases that uh, we can provide from it. We would like to hear if there are any open questions based on what has been shown already. One uh, one question could, that we could uh, ask Cyril is, uh, you know, what are the new use cases that we are uh, planning to develop and to support? Because it's almost ready, and we can uh, yes, of course, what we are doing. Yes, yes, we work uh, now um, 
on ITS platform. Uh, so as I said, for example, to, to connect the smart city initiative with road information and also vehicle to vehicle communication, vehicle to infrastructure, but also uh, how we address uh, point of interest, like uh, uh, parking, uh, uh, how we can, uh, of course, um, uh, have a better vision of uh, mobility with uh, some uh, image recognition devices. So yes, today we have a lot of work on uh, mobility. Uh, ITS platform for the future of vehicle to vehicle communication, vehicle to infrastructure communication is now uh, linked to the smart city platform. And as I said, if there are some kind of air um, quality uh, exceed, uh, we can uh, directly connect to the ITS platform and reduce uh, the speed. So this is an example, but of course there are a lot of examples uh, uh, between smart city. Also, you can um, have supervision of all traffic light and how to arrange traffic light in order to to have a lower congestion. So this is, a, yes, a huge topic on mobility. But of course, we, we work also on Earth's observation. Uh, air quality also is an example because we have data from Earth's observation. We can correlate with sensor, air quality sensor, and uh, have a better understanding of the air quality, the air quality movement with uh, our solution named Mundi. Uh, so we, we provide a, a sensor and it is mixed uh, with Earth observation and uh, we have a better understanding of the air quality and the pollution and of course we can also um, use uh, energy from uh, uh, Vivacity um, yeah, and smart building solution and uh, yes we have all these kind of use cases and a lot of use cases also on citizen safety with image rec recognition so yes i just show a part of uh, the platform but uh, with all offer we see here of course we have a global end-to-end -end solution on on several verticals perhaps uh, albert other examples well not necessarily another example city like i think you gave a lot but important thing to uh, an important topic to, 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 to touch on is the scalability of the platform uh, Sylvia already mentioned hybrid cloud, hybrid cloud but using the uh, the technology provided by Red Hat our scalability is uh, is uh, maximized we can provide it from any cloud provider or a hybrid cloud but also easily put it on a local data center or a shared data center uh, if customers uh, um, demand <clears throat> such a, a local implementation so the Flexibility and scalability is an important aspect, and I think we can with that by using the Red Hat technology. Yes, yes. There's a we question on, on handouts. So, yes, we will provide the handouts uh, in, in the links provided here. So, uh, with the team, we'll help that. Okay, thank you very much uh, for uh, all being with us for this uh, live session. We reached the end of this. Uh, of this urban data platform uh, presentation. I hope it was uh, very useful to, for you and we are all remain at your disposal for any discussions you may want to have, to have a private demo or to discuss any use cases that you would like to implement leveraging this, this platform. Uh, this presentation will be uh, has been recorded and will be uh, uh, very soon uh, available to all of you um for for download thank you very much thank you albert and thank you cyril for uh, the Thanks. presentation